EA Sports. It's in the game. They say it ain't over till it's over, and let me tell you, this one definitely ain't over. that many call the loudest in the NFL. We are inside GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs. We're set for football and into a sea of red. We're underway in Kansas City. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. And he takes us across the 15 to the 17. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Ready. The last run got six, now second and four. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. 
It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Got a man. That's IU. And he'll be stopped short of the first down, right around the 18-yard line. They'll give him four yards there. And that's going to make it fourth down. We're able to get the completion, but unfortunately not able to get the third down conversion there on that play. And I like how the defense approached that one. They knew where the first down marker was, and they decide whatever you want to have, you can. You're just not going to get the first down. Excellent tackling right there. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game, and on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Trying to find his tight end, Kelsey, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Diamador Lenore. And the Niners are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This go. could cost them. Go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They take over here following the interception. That's the good news. The tough spot is the spot that they're in. That's inside the five in the shadow of their own goal post here, first and 10. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. This is McCaffrey. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Play fake. Lance. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. 
And he is out of bounds right around the 34. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover it before he gets going? Up the gut, McCaffrey. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Back to the ground on first. It's McCaffrey. And not a lot of daylight. Not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play. Holding them to no gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Three, three. And Lance now to throw. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 37. We're scoreless after one. of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. Out of the pistol, McCaffrey. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Lance looking to throw it. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead it's knocked harmlessly to the turf. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. McCaffrey on the counter. And he'll be brought down at the 34. Well short of the first down marker. Lance and company going on fourth down. Open man is IU complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. On second and goal, Lance. Touchdown! George Kittle with a touchdown grab for Trey Lance. And the 49ers go 98 yards and finish it off in the end zone. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. 
After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Right after the touchdown to extend their lead, now maybe opening the door a little bit there by allowing starting field position at the 40. to start out as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Throwing now is Mahomes. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Now here's Mahomes. Going for the deep ball. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down at the two. So close. A big play there for KC. 58 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end. But how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from drawing level. Extra point by Bunker is on target. And we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Ready. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. As the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series. He's got a man complete. A big play there for the Niners. 72 yards. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Send a man in motion right. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. On play action, Lance on the move to his left. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as he'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So it's third and goal now. This is where the KC crowd can make it very tough. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Hey, hey. 
Lance now on third and goal. This will be caught at about the six. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks, don't let them get there, and they rallied and made the tackle. Call down near the goal line. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Debo Samuel, a three yard touchdown run. And the 49ers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Gold with the extra point. And that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And a mistake, a surprising mistake there in the kicking game as he sends that one out of bounds. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Mahomes going to throw. That would almost intercept it, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. A pretty rocky start in this game for the guy throwing the ball. Already has thrown one interception. Almost threw a second one right there. All he's doing right now is giving the defense a whole lot of confidence. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw into the hands here of Hardman. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Mahomes now on first down. Locates Hardman for another catch. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. 12 more yards for him there. It's a first down. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. Mahomes throw taken in by Valdez Scantling. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Just picking up yardage and punches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard that time, second and goal. You get down near the goal line, you need to start enlisting the help of all 11 guys on the defense. And that's a nice job there by the cornerback, squaring his shoulders and coming in to make the tackle. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier. It was bidding. And this time he is in. Yes. Isaiah Pacheco as the first half is winding down. And the Chiefs have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. Oh, a good looking return set up here. There he goes, left side. 20, 10, he will score. Touchdown, 49ers. Well, he made the right choice by result, but a little bit surprising because now with touchbacks coming back to the 25 instead of the 20, when guys field it that deep in the end zone, I think most coaches want him to take a knee. Yeah, it's resulted in more kneel downs. Not right there. 
So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. Pulls it in at the 13. And they'll have good field position here as he's out of bounds up at about the 34-yard line. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. It'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. Taken from about the 12. And able to get this out to the 25. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And that's caught inside the 35. And he's going to be out of bounds inside the 25-yard line. A big play there for KC. 55 yards. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zoom and pass that number there. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Now Mahomes. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. Though. Find him. Find him. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Nick Bosa picks up his second sack of the afternoon. That's his second sack of the game, and the best defensive ends, they do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. Mahomes throwing on fourth. His throw caught at about the five. And he will be brought down well shy of the goal line. They get the completion but cannot push forward into the end zone. And that will force a turnover on downs. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Thanks to Frank Clark, that play was doomed from the start. What a job defensively. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Watch out, 
Now Lance going to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Partner, for once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage here, back to the 15. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Okay, ready? for it. Lance. That's to his running back. Complete. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Now a timeout called for by the defense. And that's going to leave him with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt him. We'll be back. Now that fourth down decision, unconventional but effective. And they indeed come up now with a first and ten, a fresh set of downs. They're going to run the sweep. It's Samuel. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Now a timeout called for by the defense. So, boy, that's already the third they burned here. They are out of timeouts now before we've even hit the fourth quarter. From the 35 on second down, Lance. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. McCaffrey running up the middle. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. Well, they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. Ready, set. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out, and the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends as time has run out on this third quarter of play. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the score. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. On play action, it's Mahomes. Forced out to his left. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Okay. 
Now Mahomes got to have this one. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Andy Reid went for it, but it won't pick. It's another one. We got another one. It's her. Who that? Big baby slide.